Hello guys, welcome to Met10. In this video, we are going to discuss about the inguinal ligament, its extensions, expansions, and also about the subinguinal space. All right, let's get started. Coming to the inguinal ligament, the inguinal ligament is a thick fibrous band. Thick fibrous band which extends from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle. I am going to draw it. So this is the anterior superior iliac spine. This is the pubic tubercle and it extends from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle like this. This is the inguinal ligament. So what it is formed by? It is formed by the lower free border of external oblique aponeurosis. Free border of external oblique aponeurosis. So it is formed by the aponeurosis of external oblique. It is thickened and it folded backward on itself to get attached there. Thus the lower aspect of the ligament is round while its upper aspect of the ligament is presents as a groove. So what else we have along its extensions? So this is the inguinal ligament and just below the, below the inguinal ligament we have something called as ilio inguinal ligament and then we have the pectineal ligament here and then this is all covered like this. This is the inguinal ligament, ilio inguinal ligament iliopectineal ligament this one's the lacunar ligament and this is the uh, sub inguinal space here we have the rectus abdominis muscle and the linea alba don't worry we are name it this is the inguinal ligament and this is the ilio inguinal ligament This is the pectineal ligament. Pectineal ligament. And this one is called as the lacunar ligament. This line what we have here. This is the iliopubic tract. So ilioinguinal ligament is formed by the aponeurosis of external oblique. And it has extensions called as the ilioinguinal ligament and the pectineal ligament and lacunar ligament these three ligaments are the extensions of inguinal ligament attached to the iliopubic tract and just between the inguinal ligament and this iliopubic tract this is the subinguinal space now we are going to discuss about the subinguinal sub space and the uh, it is also called as the pelvic femoral space subinguinal space also called as the pelvic femoral space I will draw it to make for a better understanding here we have the anterior superior iliac spine the pubic tubercle this is the inguinal ligament right and then we have the iliopubic tract here attached by the ilioinguinal ligament pectineal ligament and the lacunar ligament so I'm telling once more, this is the inguinal ligament, this is the iliopubic tract, ilioinguinal ligament, pectineal ligament and the lacunar ligament. And, and this is the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle. So this one is the, this part, is the subinguinal space. So what do we have in the subinguinal space? We have two major muscles called as the iliacus and the psoas major. two muscles we have iliacus and the psoas major these are the two muscles we have a nerve here called as the lateral cutaneous nerve lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh and then here we will have the femoral nerve femoral nerve 
and this here this is called as the femoral sheath and it has three compartments i'm going to differentiate it has over three compartments lateral middle and the medial compartment and here we have the femoral artery femoral artery and in this one we have the femoral vein femoral vein and this one's the femoral canal femoral canal which lodges the lymph nodes so this is about the subunguinal space and the structures passing through it i'm going to explain one more time listen carefully this is the anterior superior iliac spine which uh, and this is the pubic tubercle attaching from these two is the inguinal ligament below the inguinal ligament we have the iliopubic tract which is attaching from the inguinal ligament to the iliopubic tract is the ilioinguinal ligament this is the pelvic this is the pelvic femoral ligament and this is the lacunar ligament and it is divided into two main chambers forgot to mention that it is divided into two main chambers called as the lacuna musculorum musculorum and the other one is the lacuna vasculorum this major chamber is the lacuna musculorum which contains two muscles iliacus and the psoas major and it also contains lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh and the femoral nerve and then the, we have the lacuna vasculorum this one it is divided it is also called as the femoral sheath it divided into three compartments lateral compartment we have femoral artery middle compartment we have femoral vein and the middle compartment is the femoral canal which lodges some nodes so this is about the subunguinal space and its structures passing through it all right guys if you like the video make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and i forgot to tell what is femoral sheath well femoral sheath is a very important topic in anatomy which i have discussed in the next video please make sure to watch that video thank you so much